Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to take a B2 level article and up level it to a C1 level and beyond. Let's begin. Here is the B2 article and it starts with the title how to save money nowadays the price of living is out or is out control and to make it worse salaries have not rised for a long time in this way we must all look after the money here are some ways so there are some mistakes in that first paragraph which i will address soon firstly shopping can be very expensive so you should only buy what you need and not what you want shops are made to attract you and make you spend all your money. Always make a list before shopping. Secondly, eating out is now very expensive. In the past, many people ate out at least once a week, but this is over. If you want to save money, only eat out for special times, e.g. birthdays. Thirdly, everyone knows that alcohol is expensive, so why not quit? If you only drink water when you eat out, then you will save a lot of money and it is also healthy too. For conclusion, there are many ways you can save money, but they all have one things the same. Plan before acting and think before buying. So this is an article, but it's been written a little bit like an essay. So I'm going to now up level it. Let's start with the title how to save money. So I'm going to write look after the pennies. Now there is an English idiom which is look after the pennies and the pounds will look after themselves. I have noticed sometimes in articles and even essays native speakers will use half of an idiom especially in newspapers and magazines. Most native especially British English speakers if they see look after the pennies dot 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 that's called an ellipsis dot 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 they know that the rest of the idiom is and the pounds will look after themselves so they know that this article is about saving money nowadays the price of living is out control and to make it worse so first of all there is a mistake it should be out of control you spotted that well done and to make it worse salaries have not rised it should be salaries have not arisen the verb arise the past tense is rose and the past participle is risen i'm going to change this around i'm going to start with currently currently means nowadays it's more formal however this article is not i'm not going to make it very very formal because articles can have an informal flavor currently so it says the price of living we do not say that it is the cost of living the cost of living is a collocation that native speakers would use is out of control and and then it says to make it worse there is an idiom and comma to make matters worse to make matters worse is an idiom i've used this i believe in other videos salaries now it says have not risen i'm going to use a fantastic c2 verb have stagnated now usually you if you have seen the verb stagnate you might have heard it when we are talking about water in a pond or a lake and because there is no fresh water this water stagnates it becomes green it becomes mm, difficult to find life in that water we also use it with salaries. Salaries have stagnated. It means they've stopped rising. Salaries have stagnated. And then instead of for a long time, I'm going to put throughout the last decade. It could be the last two decades, but this is not an economics video. This is an essay writing video. Um, and then it says in this way, I think they mean as a result. I know that you can say in this way in spanish for example perhaps it's a translation so let's say consequently consequently and then it says we must all look after the money mm, it would either be money or our money so consequently we mm, no i'm going to change this i'm going to say sound personal finance here sound is an adjective not a noun sound in this sense means sensible sound personal finance sensible personal finance finances have never been more important so instead of 
we must all look after our money. Sound personal finances have never been more important. And then here are some ways. Let's examine three key areas. And then of money management. At the end, I will be revising everything I've written and see if I can improve it even further. So the first paragraph, firstly, shopping can be very expensive, so you should only buy what you need and not what you want. Firstly, shopping can be extremely expensive, okay? Extremely expensive. So you should only buy what you want. So purchasing, purchase means to buy what we need. And then I'm going to say rather than what we want is paramount. Firstly, shopping can be extremely expensive. So purchasing what we need rather than what we want is paramount. Shops are made to attract you and make you spend all your money. Always make a list before shopping. That's a little bit mixed up. So let's say shops are designed to attract us. And then I'm going to add in and part us from our hard earned cash. Cash is an informal word for money. And if you watch my videos, you will know I'm all about using synonyms, not repeating the same words. Using synonyms in your writing is part of being a C1 or a C2 writer. Now, cash is an informal word, but remember, this is an article and I'm using an informal flavor. And then this, to part you from your cash is an expression and hard earned cash, hard earned here is an adjective. And then therefore a shopping list can help you stick to a budget. Adding in therefore connects those two sentences. In the example on the left in black, this always make a list before shopping. It seems like it's just been thrown in there. It doesn't flow, but therefore helps to connect it. Of course, when we do our final edit, I will examine this further. Secondly, eating out is now very expensive. Secondly, no one can deny eating out has become incredibly costly. Costly means expensive. It's another synonym. No one can deny that eating out has become incredibly costly. And then it says in the past, but there is no comma. In the past is a fronted adverbial, so we use a comma in the past and then it uses people ate out i need a synonym so i'm going to say in the past many of us dined in restaurants to dine means to eat somewhere that is high level that is formal to dine in a restaurant means to eat in a restaurant means to eat out but it's better than repeating eat out. In the past, many of us dined in restaurants. It says once a week, let's say on a weekly, on a weekly basis, sounds much better than once a week, on a weekly basis. And then if you want to save money, only eat out for special times. I'm just gonna add something here. However, for many, those days are gone. So a few things here. Those days are gone is, I am a collocation in English. It sounds very native-like. Those days are gone. It means that doesn't exist anymore. And I want to draw your attention to however. Usually, when I write, I will put full stop, however, comma, and start a new sentence. But this is another way of using however. And I wanted to share that with you so that you have another way of using however. Both are correct. You can look that up. Some people use one way, some people use the other. There is disagreement about which is correct, but you can find both usages in newspapers and magazines. If you're really, if you really are serious about, and then it says to save money, I'm gonna use another synonym, economizing. To economize means to save money. If you really are serious, about economizing, comma, because it's a subordinate clause, then eating out must become a rare treat rather than the norm. So let's draw your attention to this, if you really are serious. Now you could say, if you are really serious. However, the way that I have ordered the words, I am emphasizing, if you really are serious, so that word order 
it emphasizes the R. And I'm saying if you really are serious about economizing, so there's a subtle difference there between if you are really serious and if you really are serious. Thirdly, everyone knows that alcohol is expensive, so why not quit? Thirdly, now instead of everyone knows that alcohol is expensive, here is a nice expression. It's no secret that alcohol. So it's no secret that is an expression. It means everyone knows. It's no secret that alcohol is pricey. Here's another adjective to mean expensive, pricey. So perhaps it's time to quit. So why not quit? So perhaps it's time to quit. And then if you only drink water, then you eat at, when you eat out, you will save a lot of money and it is also healthy too. So how about many money savers, money savers are people who want to save money, will only drink water when eating out. And then how about this, a relative clause, which not only looks after their wallet, but, uh, but provides several health benefit. Now I've used here looks after their wallet. It means stops them spending money, but just be careful. When we're talking normally in life, men use a wallet and ladies use a purse, but you can still say looks after their wallet in writing and it refers to both genders because writing, the rules of writing are different from the rules of speaking as we know. So this starts off for conclusion, which is incorrect. It should be in conclusion. There are many ways you can save money, but they all have one things. It should be one thing, the same. I would say have one thing in common. Plan before acting and think before buying. There exists a myriad of ways we can save money. However, and then instead of saying they all have one thing in common, I'm going to use a beautiful metaphor. Two common threads run through them all. So let's just, let me break this down. There exists a myriad of ways, lots of different ways. However, two common threads, so a thread on screen now, if you think about a rug or a carpet, the thread is running through it. So what are the two common threads that run through all the myriad of ways we can save money? Forward planning and thinking before acting. Those are the common threads which go through all money saving ideas. And then I'm going to end and I'm going to reference the title. Now I like to do this in essays or articles. The title was look after the pennies dot dot dot. So now I'm going to reference that as my, as my closing sentence. Because after all, if we look after the pennies and then it should be the pounds look after themselves. I'm going to add in this. The pounds really do look after themselves. Now it is time for me to do a final edit of this article. This article is now available or it will be in the next few days as a PDF which you can download. Visit my Patreon page. There is a link in the description where you can download the PDF of all my C1 and C2 writing. I am also going to start a Patreon membership where once a month, if you join, you can send me an essay and I will give you feedback on that essay or piece of writing or whatever. So check out the descriptions in my videos and there should be a link now or coming soon. So let's do our final edit. Look after the pennies. Currently, the cost of living is out of control and to make matters worse, salaries have stagnated throughout the last decade. Consequently, sound personal finances, I'm going to make that into the singular. Sound personal finance has never been more important. Let's examine three key areas of money management. So as an article that you might find on a blog, for example, fantastic opening. Firstly, shopping can be extremely expensive. So purchasing what we need rather than what we want is paramount. Shops are designed to attract us and part us from our hard earned cash. Therefore, a shopping list can help you to stick to a budget. I'm going to change one thing. 
This is an article and for me, firstly, is more like an essay. So I'm going to just start off with, we all know. We all know shopping can be extremely expensive. That to me sounds more like an article and less like an essay. Again, we've got secondly, let's read the paragraph and they'll make a change at the end. Secondly, no one can deny eating out has become incredibly costly. In the past, many of us dined in restaurants on a weekly basis. However, for many, those days are gone. If you really are serious about economising, then eating out must become a rare treat rather than the norm. Hmm. Do we need a comma? Then eating out must become a rare treat, comma, rather than the norm. I'm going to say no in this example. And in terms of starting this paragraph, I'm just going to take out secondly and start with no one can deny. Thirdly, it's no secret that alcohol is pricey, so perhaps it's time to quit. Many money savers will only drink water when eating out, which not only looks after their wallet, but also provides several health benefits. Going to take out thirdly, and I'm going to use of course as my sentence opener. In conclusion, there exists a myriad of ways we can save money. However, two common threads run through them all, forward planning and thinking before acting. Because after all, if we look after the pennies, the pounds really do look after themselves. Before we go, there is one thing. I have used a mixture of contractions and some that are not contractions. For example, it's no secret. Now, normally I would say be consistent. This is an article with an informal flavour. So I would recommend that we would go through and actually change everything to a contraction for consistency. Contractions are fine in informal writing. Equally, an article might not have contractions, in which case we could take them out. But whichever one you decide, be consistent. I really hope that you found this video useful. Now, these videos do take a lot of work and a lot of time. Therefore, if you would like to support this channel, you can do several things. You can subscribe, you can like, share the videos, leave me a comment. Even more so, you can go to my Patreon where you can support me each month. You might even choose to download my PDF of essays or join one of the levels of my Patreon where I will give you essay feedback each month. Whatever you choose to do, I would love to hear a comment from you. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.